wondering how you're going to make it through the next wave? In this video, I share with you self-care routines that you can do to help you to get through the second wave. Welcome back. If you're new to this channel, my name is Benatia from QuantumUpgrade.com and I'm an energy healer sharing with you practical tips that you can use to help you to get amazing results physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. If this is something that you're interested in doing, be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell so you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. Let's start. First, I want you to know that it's okay to care about yourself and that it's okay to feel the things that you're feeling and that you have resources that can help you to get through the second wave. You're worth it and you deserve it. So what can you do to help your physical self-care, especially if you're locked indoors? Some of the things you could do is you could do walking. Walking or dancing anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes per day for five days a week, or you can be playing hopscotch with the children. Uh, you can actually have a fun family thing that you can do if you have children or if you have even adults, you can still do hopscotch. That will keep your body moving and it will be a physical activity that you could do and have fun while doing it. It's important to keep our bodies active because having our bodies being active and moving around and keeping it, it keeps it healthy. It maintains our bones, it maintains our immune system, it maintains our feel-good chemicals that are like we're going to need them. Emotional self-care. So what can you do for your emotional self-care? One of the things that you can do is writing how you feel in a journal. You can write it down in a notebook, in a journal, whatever it is that you prefer to do. Even if you're not interested in writing your thoughts down, perhaps you're into being more creative. Maybe you like to paint. Maybe you like to draw. Maybe you like, I don't know, do paper mache. <laughs> Something that requires you to actually be focused and to express your creativity is a good form of expressing your emotions. Some of the other things that you could do is you could take a soothing bubble bath. You know, who doesn't love a bubble bath? Well, some people don't. <laughs> and then there are others who prefer a hot shower. Either one of those will work for you. It helps you to soothe your physical as well as your emotional body. And another thing that you could do is you can drink you know, hot beverages. It could be hot tea. It could be hot cup of coffee. It can be hot wine, actually, maybe apple cider wine. You could also have like soup if you're into soup and not all the other stuff. So those are things that you could do to kind of soothe your, you know, it's a self coping mechanism. It's, it's, help, it's there to help you to soothe the emotional triggers that we're all experiencing right now. So how can you maintain your mental health? One of the things that you could do is to have a routine that will help and lead you towards the direction you want to go. And don't go rolling your eyes. Yes, routines are very important. I mean, how else are we gonna get through our day? For example, you can have a morning routine where you do certain things like wash your face, you know, lather your face with all your favorite creams. We all wanna look good, right? You can have a routine for the morning and then you can have another routine that you do that will help to signal to your brain that it's now time to wind down, relax, and to start getting into the state of rest and sleep. So many different information out there that you can go look on online and get that information for yourself. Another thing that you can do to help maintain your mental state is to practice meditation. Now I have a video that you can watch to help you to understand how doing meditation can improve your life. In the description below, you can click on the link and watch that video. You can also download a guided meditation that's available for beginners who are new to meditation. Another thing that you could do to help maintain your mental health is to read good books. Not only just any book, but you need to read something that will not only give you the knowledge, but also improve your skill. So whatever books that might be, it could be Seven Habits of the you know Highly Effective People that will help you not only to get the information that you need and help to develop you on a personal level. Another thing that you could do is to find humor in things. Now there are so many videos online that you can watch that will help you to get your laugh on, okay? So one of my favorite YouTubers is Shuler King. He is hilarious, his commentaries are on point. So, you know, you might want to check him out. He's just funny and, uh, you know, you probably get a good laugh out of all of his videos. Fourth thing that you can do is to maintain your spiritual self-care. 
What do I mean by that? How you connect to source energy. And it could be in whatever form that you choose to have it. There is no particular way that you need to do this. However, some of the things that are available to every and anyone is to go for a walk in nature. You can go for a walk in nature. You can do some grounding works. You can spend time with friends and family. You can actually spend some time volunteering, you know, to help in the community. Those are ways that you can, you know, help yourself on a spiritual level. It doesn't necessarily have to be a religious thing, but just being around friends and family and community is a way to, you know, it's a way to help you to maintain your spiritual self-care. Another thing that you can do is to learn to forgive yourself. I know that this is really challenging because right now a lot of people are feeling the way that they are and you're like coulda, woulda, shoulda. One of the things you could do is to learn to forgive yourself and accept that this is where you are at now and that you are willing to move forward to do more to help yourself and to be in a space where you can grow. One of the most important things that you can do for your spiritual self-care is to get a good night's rest. And when I'm talking good night's rest, I'm not talking the chemical kind. I'm talking about things that you can use in terms of natural things that are readily available and it's good for you. Things like drinking apple cider vinegar before you go to sleep at night. Those are good things that you can drink. Drinking some warm cup of you know, chamomile tea. Those are some very calming on your nervous system and will get you ready to have a good night's rest. Hopefully all of this doesn't sound like too much work for you. However, if you just do the bare minimum, which is to have proper nutrition and you do a little bit of exercise with a lot of hydration and actually get a good night's rest, you'll benefit from it and your life will improve and you'll be able to maintain your health and your immunity and your sense of well-being during this pandemic. So I just recommend that you just go right ahead and just do it. Like and subscribe to this channel and remember to hit that bell so you'll be notified whenever I post new video. And thank you and I'll see you in the next video.